Welcome back to the Zodcast. This is Mike, and I'm here with Paul. Here at the Zodcast, we talk about the sane. We talk about the exciting, and sometimes we even talk about the insanity. Mike, what are we talking about today? <laughs> talk about insanity. <laughs> We're talking about uh, Joe Exotic, the Tiger King today, a new Netflix series out. <laughs> God, Joe Exotic. You know, I, I had two people in my life, two people that I really respect, I consider friends, uh, my coworker Brad, he's like, "Oh, Paul, have you seen this documentary on Netflix? You gotta go watch it." I'm like, uh, "Okay, fine." And then I watched like an episode. I'm like, "No, I'm tapping out." And I'm talking with you, Mike, and you're like, "Oh my God, have you seen this documentary on Netflix?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, I did. I did. You gotta watch it. You just you gotta watch it." So I, I watched it. I got to episode four point five, and then I just tapped out, Mike. I, I couldn't do it. I just yeah, I, I so tried. disappointed. Uh, so, guys, uh, you before, we, out on us. before we get into the reason why Mike loved this documentary, I'm going to give you two <laughs> reasons why I did not. Uh, the first one is, is I'm not a big fan of documentaries. You know, I, I can take them or leave them. If it's a documentary on Star Wars or Star Trek or, you know, Battlestar Galactica, yes, I would like that because uh, I love those topics. Uh, but just a general do uh, documentary, no thank you. Uh, the second thing is drama. I despise drama. Uh, if I have a relationship with someone and I start seeing drama percolating and then percolating and then going just done. So, yeah, those are the two reasons why I, I didn't watch this. I didn't. I couldn't finish this show, Mike. So, Mike, in a nutshell, before we dive deep into this, what did you like about this? I just thought it was entertaining. It was entertaining characters. There's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of information. You know, you have the murder for hire plot. You mm -hmm. have the, you know, the whole issue about Carol Baskin. Allegedly, they think that she killed her husband and all the stuff. And just the the crazy, colorful cast of characters. You know, the Carnies and the Felons and and all the <laughs> stuff. It's just funny. It's you know, especially now the the aftermath with all the memes and jokes and stuff that's going around. It's just wildly entertaining to me. So, so I mean, there, there were some. There was definitely a few moments that were just so cringe fest. Um, the one thing I notice about Joe, though, is wh why do you think he was so charismatic? I mean, why so many people just loved him and worshipped him? Why do you think that was? It's just, well, it, that's what it is. It's just the charisma of him. He, he was a showman, uh, you know. Uh, I, I, I think that just comes out of extreme narcissism. Nar narcissism? Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, he doesn't care about anybody else. You know, and I think what started off as a passion for these animals, he lost that along the way. And, it's, and it just kind of got lost in his obsession with taking out Carol Baskin, you know, and the, the lawsuits and everything else, but that's why. But as you peel back the layers, you know, as each episode goes on, you, I mean, he's a he's a criminal. All right, so you know? so, so you mentioned Carol. Um, I, I did watch a third episode, and they focus on Carol and the dis the, 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 the uh, uh, quotation disappearance of of her husband. Uh, what 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 do you think that was all about? Uh, you know, I think that she had something to do with him. His, there's there's a li just a little... They only scratch, you know, going to the tip of the iceberg with, with how much information really is out there about that whole thing. But uh, I think that... I think that she did it or had somebody do it or whatever. And the show isn't help giving, you know, helping her out. <laughs> no. You know, when I watch that, you know... Of, of the of the half of the show, well, I, I watched more than half of the show, but I, I saw only four real victims in this show. Uh, the one was the two sisters. I, I don't consider the ex-wife a victim uh, of, of the deceased husband. So let me repeat three. Uh, the two sisters and that one woman that lost her arm. What, what are your thoughts on the sisters or the daughters of of the of the deceased husband do you think they have a, a legal claim to carol well technically not because of the paperwork uh they are victims and that carol was vicious towards that family oh, she took yeah. everything oh. she, they, they ended up with like 10 percent. 10 percent 10 percent 
Uh, so yeah, they're victims, uh, and Carol is ruthless in that in that regard. And the whole thing with Saf, the worker there, uh, great attitude about the whole situation. But you know, I watched her on Lights Out with David Spade, and she basically said, "Hey, you you get complacent because you're doing a task every day, the same thing." And she knew not to do what she did, and yeah, that's what happened. Now, now, granted, Joe pretty much has nothing. I mean, he's rotten in prison right now. Uh, if he wasn't rotten in prison, do you think that she would have a legal fight towards him for compensation for losing her arm? Who, Saf? No. Nah, no. No. Uh, in terms of her, she wouldn't do that. No, she loves him. Yeah, she would not do that. Now, sh- does she? I would say, yeah. But... If Joe were to fight her on it, and you know, you stuck your arm in the cage, and you know not to do that. Uh, you know. yeah. So, uh, so so let's move on to Joe and his husbands. <laughs> oh my God! Who, who are straight males? Straight males. I I <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the wedding, and I'm like, this is this is cringier. Than watching all those celebrities saying, "I can only imagine," <laughs> or saying, "I can imagine," it was the oh my god, it was so bad, so bad. How did that yeah, happen, what, Mike? How did that happen? Well, these are two, you know, these are people that have nowhere else to go. These are people that are addicted to methamphetamines, and Joe's coming in saying, "Hey, I'll, you know, I'll give you all you want if you marry me," you know, type of thing. I mean, he finds these people that have an extreme need, and he fills it. And you see what people will are willing to go for, go through, or to do for that kind of type of an addiction. And you know they're bump and uglies. It, it just wasn't on paper. So ah, uh, and then that one nineteen year old kid. Uh, what happened to him? The night- if you're talking about Travis, yeah, uh, who uh, accidentally shot himself on camera. Well, off just off camera. Yeah, the 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 campaign yeah. manager witnessed it, and just the look on yeah. his face was just. Oh, my God. Yeah, um, I mean, it's, you know, we, we do this all the time as a joke kind of thing, but it's true. You know, like, something like that happened. The guy was literally like, oh, my God. I mean, I'm watching this going, yeah. oh, wow. Uh, and and that I, was the biggest moment for me on the show, I think. Like, holy crap, did I just see that. And then, of course. I watched that a couple times. And then two months later, he remarries another kid. Yeah, yeah. And he had Travis's mother be in the wedding oh wow and, and the idea there was that you know well she's okay with this so everybody else should be okay with this and then he just wrote her off but was she okay with it no she's not okay with it she lost her son and nobody gives a shit <laughs> oh, wow certainly not joe he's off you know he had to have a companion didn't care about anything else anybody else as long as he had to get the next guy in, in, in there. It's so, awful. So, so Mike, I, I'm going to ask you this question. Uh, so, Car- Carol has all this drama with the disappearance of her of her husband. We have Crazy Joe uh, with all with all the psychoticness in his life. Why on earth would they? And there's this other dude in South Carolina, which he's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, with his own cult, why would they be willing to be part of this documentary? Well, again, I think it just goes on into how it was sold to them in the first place. You know, whatever the producers had to say to them to get them to agree to it, and they did. And, you know, you start off with an idea, and then over five years, it's going to end up somewhere else. Oh, so this took five years to make? Yes. Oh, I, 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 I think that the world is a darker place because of this documentary, <laughs> to, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, it surely is. Uh, there, are, there are images that I will never unsee. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and uh, and, and it just, guys, to give you an example, I mean, this just came out like, what, about three or four days ago? It, yeah, it's just it just started popping up. There are several... Tiger King private groups on Facebook that have hundreds of thousands of people in these groups. 
you know, normally when we see a cult following, it takes 5, 10, 20 years later. We have a cult following within three days of this show. <laughs> we need to start our own uh, Tiger King meme channel. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mike, we're late to the game on that one. Uh, and, and you'd be, I mean, I mean, I did post that Baby Yoda, Tiger Joe uh, meme today on our Facebook page. Pop Culture Explosion on Facebook. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Mike, I, I, final thoughts on this travesty of humanity. The final thought is I will watch it again, and I will be making a Tiger King meme video, so watch for that. Oh, I'm um, so super excited. It. <laughs> I'm looking forward to watching it again. Okay, good. Um, I'm hoping this is the last time I talk about Tiger Joe. Or Tiger King, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Joe, Joe Exotic, uh, Tiger King, whatever. I hope this is our last conversation about this topic. <laughs> so, so guys, if you enjoyed this Zodcast, uh, smash that like button. Uh, what are your thoughts? Because trust me, you guys have thoughts on this, so I want them in the comment section below. And for future content, please subscribe. So, Mike, with that being said, Peace out. Peace out.